hi welcome back to another video again i've got another my fabrics haul this one is fabrics that i would personally cho choose choose for um stockings to make your own stockings at home christmas stockings so i am doing a blog post on the best fabrics to use i'll leave a link in the description so you can go and check it out there in written format but otherwise i have got the fabrics here ready to review ready to look at them and just kind of like <laughs> i'm excited um because i know a lot of people like to make their own stockings i personally want to make some um maybe next year now just because of things being quite chaotic and it, you never know what the best fabric is going to be to use you don't know what it's going to be what you want to use um i always would say get a little bit surplus especially if you are in the kind of middle of creating a family because you never know if you're going to end up adding one and then you've got to try and find the fabric again so yeah uh here we go let's just get into it these are all from my fabrics not sponsored in any way shape or form these are all purchased by myself and i'm just excited to see what they're like so i got the tear rip pit wrong last time so let's see if it works out better this time if it looks a little dark it's because it's quite late at night and i'm doing this when my little boy is asleep so i got a few different things so like i got one thing that's like a trimming you know like for the fur top so i'll go through everything i'll try and find the links to everything as well that i actually bought on the website and i'll leave a link in the description so if you want to go and buy that particular thing hopefully you can find it um, if not i will obviously be putting the full kind of description of the fabric um, itself so even if you can't find it on the website through my link just kind of message them i'm sure they'd be happy to try and find it for you or give you any information on any alternatives and everything like that uh so let's just get started i did have oh i bet i've not got the email to say what i've got found the information the problem is when you get this when you get your box it doesn't come with any of the names on it so you don't actually so what you might have known from the ordering process of the name doesn't come up with the actual item so i want to make sure i'm getting the right name for the right item so i found it so hopefully from that i'll be able to talk you through so if i look down it's because i'm looking at my mac because i want to make sure i'm getting the right corresponding item with the name basically so the first thing is the faux fur trim and it's a 10 centimeter width so it's got like a i don't know if you'll be able to see properly on the back and then it's the fur on the front so this is i got a meter of this but obviously you can get less more every so on um and then this oh it's beautiful it feels so soft Oh my gosh so this would be perfect if you are just wanting to create a one like literally like the top not double it over um and just use a liner then in in the in the inside so this would be perfect for the top of a more traditional um style christmas stocking um if you wanted to do the, like the velvet base and the white fur top there you go this um was eight pound 85 per meter yeah 885 per meter um uh, this is called four fur white 10 centimeters i'll leave like in the actual description of it here um the name of it and i'll also leave it in the description as well so yeah that comes in that came in its own little bag just so that it was kind of i think protected it's beautiful it's, it feels so soft so that's that one the next is um a tartan so i don't know where this 
has come from but I feel like tartan's like almost like a staple of Christmas these days like tartan and plaid prints are kind of like a staple they do feel like it for me I feel like I see it a lot um, so I kind of thought why not mm, include it in the um, video why would it not be if it's so commonly used so I picked up this one, Tartan Classic Big Signal Red. Um, I got one meter of this and it was 8.98 per meter. It's really nice quality, like it's really nice and thick. It does have a bit of give on the bias, but obviously none on the um, straight grain. So it's only on the bias that it's got any movement, but it's really nice quality really nice bold colours it's uh, I love tartan tartan's just really good um, and with my fabrics if you do order your anything from them it does come with like this care label so it, say how much you've ordered and then it shows you like um, how to care for it washing details and everything else on there so I really like this because I find this really useful for when I'm pre-washing um so yeah that's because sometimes you don't always know what that specific fabric needs so i really appreciate that that the fabrics come with their own little washing details so yes tartan is a very good fabric for christmas stockings um the redness if you don't like just the velvet red you want something a bit different a bit a bit more alternative but still quite festive tartan's a really good one you can even use it as a liner if you want because it's tough, it's strong, it's long lasting, it will wash very well, um, it'll last years. Um, yeah, it's just overall a really good quality fabric um, and a really nice print. So I've gone through everything. Um, this is, so the next on the list is the... Suede with imitation for underside white. So it's basically like a soft pile faux fur, I would describe it, but they've called it suede. Imitation suede. It's nice on both sides, to be honest. It's The titles kind of throw me a little, but I'll show you it and then maybe you can... If you can't see any of the actual footage here very well because it's dark, it's late, it's winter, so it's always dark. I'll leave um, images, I'll leave the link to the to the <laughs> blog post below and then you'll be able to see better images there, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes, you will. No fingers crossed about it, I'll make it happen. So this is the suede with imitation for the soft pile. So this is the suede side. I don't know if you can really see. And then this is the for fur side. Can you see it all that well? I don't know. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Um, so I thought this was really nice because it's really luxurious, it's really soft, um, it's really easy to handle in the sense of like because it's not got any real stretch or anything to it so and the faux fur part isn't long so it's not you don't have to like comb it out to then cut it and then comb it over again this literally just how it is. Um, which I like because I like very low maintenance kind of sewing projects. Um, so yeah, this again comes with washing and ironing and drying kind of instructions attached to it. I got um, 0.5 meters and it's quite a lot. So if you're still just using this as the topping, you know, like the trim of the boot um, of the stocking, the white part, this not uh, 5 meters is more than enough depending on obviously how many you're making but I would definitely use this one this was let me see 
14.72 so it was more than this because you got a meter for this one but if you wanted to be able to double it over um all the way round or even i don't know even if you just wanted to use something different to that um this is a really good option and you get a lot for this 14 pound 72 um so yeah really like that i think this is what i will use when i make hours um so yeah I really like that it's really nice I would definitely recommend that one um especially if you don't want anything too long for 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 fake fur kind of thing it's very soft it's very nice so yeah that's that one next on the list is the um fold woolen Loden. Um, so the, this is the fold, fold, I want to say fueled, but it's fold woolen. Um, so this is wool, wool fabric. Um, it's really nice. I've seen like people make coats out of this. Um, coats and like light wear, light, light wear jackets, you know, like I know the kind of styles because, um, Somebody I worked with used to have one and some a teacher at my school used to have one and I could tell the fabric straight away for some reason, I don't know what it is, but sometimes you just know a fabric when you see it. Um, and this is it. So I got a metre of this. It cost £18.49. Um, I thought this was, it's really nice. It's a little itchy, I think. You know, it's very textured very textured maybe not itchy itchy is probably a bit more like depending on the person um but wool's a really good fabric to use for christmas stockings because again it's quite hard wearing um especially if you pick a certain one like this is quite obviously this is very um knitted together is that the right word it's very compact it's a good wool it's thick well it's not thick thick but it's thick um and this would last a long time this would be easily you could wash this year in year out and it'll be fine um storing it in the you know in a plastic container in the garage in the loft it'd be completely fine um and it would look really to be fair it'd look really nice with the trim i'll show you so I'll show you the fabric first because I'm just getting carried away, as you do. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see all that well. It does have a little stretch to it. So it does have a, a little bit of a stretch and texture, but you could line this with just like plain cotton and it would look really nice. Um, but this would be it with the trim. And if you wanted something a bit different, if you're not like into like traditional traditional Christmas, but you still like something quite festive, this would look really nice together. Look at that. Ignore the extra fluff, obviously. But yeah, it would look really nice. Uh, you could obviously get this in a different colour. I just got it in this colour because it's a colour that I will probably use. Um, next on the list is the stretchy cotton velvet. So you can get a whole host of different kind of velvets you can get like um crushed velvet um oh there's so many velvets velvet is a big thing i've worked with velvet before i didn't love it i'm not gonna lie it was very hard work um i was but velvet can be very difficult to work with i went with the stretch velvet for this particular um example just because i think if you're going to use is it just really out of focus or is it me i'm just looking greasy and horrible yes basically so for this example i chose to stretch cotton velvet because i think it was something that maybe people would use more than like crushed velvet because it's quite expensive so this cost £7.34 for half a metre. Um, obviously you can see the stretch. And this is the fabric itself. 
don't know if it's really showing up or not. Hopefully it is. So that's the front. Um, so this is very like what I would call low pile. It's very like um, thin. It's not very fluffy or like luxurious in that sense. It gives the essence of luxuriousness because of the kind of like sheen and look of it, but without the actual like, I want to say fluffiness. That That's how I can kind of describe it as. Um, so yeah, you can get velvet in general is really good because it kind of gives that luxurious feel and look. Um, if, especially if you're going for something more traditional in the sense of a traditional style stocking. I will put a picture of a traditional style stocking. If I, if what I'm calling traditional style, it might not be traditional to everybody else or different countries, I realise that, but this kind of stocking. Um, so if you wanted to go for the red bit, the red boot and the white trim, velvet's really good. Um, it doesn't last maybe as long. You might It takes a little bit more care when looking after it. You don't iron them, um, that kind of thing. But in general, velvet's a good fabric. Again, it's sturdy, it lasts generally a long time. Um, and you can get different kind of areas of velvet. So there's plenty to choose from on the market, depending on your budget. So Next on the list is a Alova Micro Velour. So this is a similar to velvet, velour and velvet kind of, to me, go in a similar bracket. I know they're not the same, there's a completely different thing about them, but they, to me they're going a similar bracket because they're kind of like a fabric that's got a fur-ish look and touch to them, but without being fur or faux fur. Um, they both can look luxurious if they're used in the right sense and the right way. Um, and they can also look very tacky if they're used in the wrong way. So, But I thought velour might be a nice option. Again, it's a good fabric, you get, you know, it is a polyester, I believe. Yeah, 100% polyester. So, you know, it, man made. It'll last a long time. It looks nice. I believe it is a cheaper version to velvet. This was 525. Yeah, 525, 29, 529, sorry, for one metre compared to the 734 for a half a metre of the velvet. So velour might be um, your velvet alternative if that's, you know, if you're looking, if you, especially if you're doing a lot of them or you're just wanting to save money where you can, velour might be a nice option because it's got pretty much, for me, the same qualities as velvet, um, just not as expensive. But yeah, so the green, dark green, really nice. It comes in red and other colours as well. Um, the, obviously it doesn't feel as rich as the velvet. It's got no stretch to it whatsoever, but you don't need that really for a Christmas stocking. So, but yeah, a nice alternative, nice fabric. Really impressed with that because, again, I've got a like an... <laughs> against velvet and um, velour it's like it, i don't know what it is on my hands sometimes i'm like this like oh don't touch me but yes it's strange that to think that i love fabric so much but that can give me the heebie-jeebies so the final one on the list is a felt so i got i think it was yeah not 0.5 meters of red felt felt is a wonderful diverse fabric there's so many things you can make with it, especially if you do needle felting, you can make a 3D little like birds and objects and everything like that. And I find it fascinating that somebody can use something so simple and two simple tools and create something so wonderful and so creative and so beautiful. Again, felt, strips of felt, felt pads, felt squares, you can make a million things from felt. This was, let me just find it, felt 180 centimetres wide, two millimetres thick. This was 8.95 for 0.5 metres, so half a metre for eight, oh no. Yeah, 8.95, there was a little discount on my order, but yeah, 8.95 
was the starting price for um, 0.5 meters. Um, this is really tough, it's really good. Felt's a really good base for Christmas stockings, especially if you wanted to use, you can even use this to do lettering. So if you wanted to do letters for each of your family members names on their stocking, felt is a really good one. You can use that because it doesn't fray. You can just stick them on somehow. You can iron them on, um, fabric glue, bondo web, things like that. You can use to just stick it on to your stocking and it will stay. Um, it might come off after a wash or two, but generally it'll stay. Or you can even sew it on. But because it doesn't fray, you literally can just pin it in place and sew around the edges in no in any fashion you want. You can be as decorative as you want, you can be as cover up as you want, or you can be as basic as you want. You can even hand stitch it on and it will stay for a long time. So I like how diverse felt is. Felt is also great if you are doing this with children. There is a, something wonderful about crafting with children at this time of year and it's something I love to do myself. And it's something I really want my nieces and nephews and even my own son to get into. And felt is a fantastic material to use. It is also like fairly cheap if you find it in the right place. I've been really impressed with the quality of this one. Um, it's lovely and vibrant colour. Feels great. It's, you know, I can get a lot out of this 0.5 metres. Um, so... Yes, felt, wonderful, you can use it as the base, you can use it as lettering, you can even just use it as the little trim at the top, you can use it for whatever. You can also use felt to make so many other Christmas decorations. Have you seen those like felt trees that you can just stick to the wall and then you can make your own pockets on them or you can have decorations that you can like um, velcro to them and stuff, that's really fun. If I find a, a Pinterest thing for that I'll leave it in the link to description below um but yeah felt very diverse for a lot of crafting things but also very good for christmas stockings um especially if you want to just do it with a craft as a crafter for the kids making mini ones or their own and um, they could decorate their own stocking which is really cute uh yeah so i love felt for that reason and that is why it's on the list for one of the best fabrics to use for christmas stockings I've got one more. It's a bit of an alternative one, but hear me out. Linen. Linen again is very diverse. Um, I always think of linen because it's used in hot countries. You wear linen trousers and linen shorts and shirts on holiday when you're hot. Um, it's also very like hard wearing. If you get the right kind of linen, it's very hard wearing. Um, and so I liked throwing this in as an option for people. Even if you've got linen trousers at home you are no longer wearing and you want to upcycle them into something, use them. Use them as a lining for your Christmas stocking, use them as the main base for your Christmas stocking. Linen is a good fabric to use. It's good, it's sturdy, it lasts a long time, it washes well. It's just kind of overall a good good option so that is everything for this fabrics haul i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been interesting i hope you've enjoyed my reasonings behind buying some of these fabrics for christmas stockings and yeah i hope it's been interesting for you i hope you found some knowledge somewhere in there even if it was just the tiniest bit amount and um, and I'd love to know what you are making with these fabrics. I'd love to know if you're making your own Christmas stockings this year. Are you using a pattern? Are you using any kind of like embellishment? I'd love to see pictures and everything. So let me know what you are up to, what you're sewing and other fabric stores. I'd love to know what other fabric stores people are using. So leave me a comment in the description, let me know what you're up to this festive season and I'll see you in a video real soon.